New Dutch signing Pierre van Hooydonk was a main attraction for the Celtic fans who were hoping he'd add to his debut goal. The man out to stop him was Kilmarnock's bargain by keeper Dragoje Lekovic, signed from Red Star Belgrade earlier this season. Now Celtic made two changes from the side which drew with Hearts in midweek. Mark McNally and Willie Falconer coming in for Mike Galloway and Paul Byrne. Kilmarnock replaced the suspended Neil Whitworth with Mark Skilling, while up front Tom Brown was preferred to Steve Masquerade. The match referee was the experienced Bill Crombie from Edinburgh. Summariser Alan McAnally, commentator Jerry McNee. Uh, Celtic kick off their third consecutive home game and after two draws they'll be hoping for the three points this afternoon. With just two wins in the last 17 games, that includes League Cup ties. So right away the uh, referee having to take some action. And a yellow card for the new signing, Pierre van Hoydonk. Just 18 seconds into the game. Not a particularly great start. I think they certainly did come in late and caught Colin McHugh really badly there. And they can't complain. It was a bad tangle from the back. Not the best start by the big man. Well, I hope that's not a sign of things to come this afternoon. The free kick after just 18 seconds of the game. And there's an early touch for Pat Bonner. The ball coming off the head of Jim Slaven. So a lot of uh, gaps in the stands this afternoon. I think Celtic with just too many drawn games. In fact, they've just won league win in the last 15 Premier Division matches. That was against Falkirk here on the 31st of December. And since last playing Celtic at Rugby Park, uh, Kilmarnock have won two of their five games. So the free kick to Celtic. Let's watch carefully by Gus McPherson. And the ball's out of play for the throw to Celtic. It's quickly taken, it's with Collins. Throw now for O'Donnell. Again, it's uh, Celtic's ball. Will O'Donnell not having many options there? Command players putting him back. To Stuart Gray with the throw. Through to Faulkner. It'll be interesting to see his partnership up front this afternoon with Van Hoydonk. Yeah, I think this is quite an interesting play by Tommy Burns. Rather than opting to play with Van Hoydonk up front himself, giving Kilmarnock's defence a lot of trouble by also playing Willie Faulkner and hoping that they can combine a partnership that's going to start Celtic on a winning sequence. So the corner's taken and almost a free header there for Faulkner and that's taken a deflection and... Another corner to Celtic. See just why that Willie Faulkner has been up front with Van Hoydonk. The aerial power that Celtic have today is, looks as though it might cause Kilmarnock a few problems. Scotland again driving it in. Van Hoydonk getting the touch at Slavin. And it's knocked behind by McKee, who was on that far post. Good effort there by Slavin as Collins swung in the corner kick, little back header from Van Hoydonk. Slavin tried the effort and uh, McKee was on the far post to knock the ball to safety. Another corner look and well handled by Lukovic. Signed from Red Star Belgrade. Well, he's a bit of a mistake against Partick Thistle a couple of weeks back, but uh, he's been a good signing for Kilmarnock. That's McNally's head up. And Hoidonk. Auckland just failing to take that one. It's uh, swept away by Connor, picked up now by Brown. This is Collins for Celtic. Slavin plays it through to McStay. McLaughlin. Stay goes on the overlap. Lloyd tries to push his way through. It's McStay again, battling hard. Still it's McStay. Down he goes. Claims for a penalty, but uh, no reaction whatsoever from Bill Crombie. There didn't seem to be an awful lot in that from uh, the angle we're looking at it from, but uh, it was McStay with some aggressive play, getting himself into the area. 
and tell the referee saying no chance again black follows a high one forward we by Slaven and Hoydonk McDonnell Buzz goes round the crowd when this little man gets hold of the ball, but uh, by McLaughlin's effort on that occasion, going high over the target, but, uh, he certainly tends to bring the crowd alive. Certainly did very well, a good change of pace to get by Tom Black, but really a shot on target with no conviction. Touch there by Mitchell, turned by Brown despite the attention of McNally. Colin still covering a lot of ground here, coming back to help out in defence and doing extremely well. It's McLaughlin who's dropped deep. Donald calls for it. This is a Donald. He's a bit shot with that one. Well, Donald's been quiet in these opening stages and uh, just a bit slack with his uh, passing there. Which uh, puts Celtic in a bit of trouble, but uh, that possession again, it's a stumble now by Collins, who has been playing well. This is Mitchell. Well, the shot was certainly on for him. That was a real chance for Ali Mitchell. That was John Collins' shadow again. Matt Riley steals the ball for him. Good ball played there for Ali Mitchell, and really he knows he should have done better there. Ali has got a really powerful shot, but he knows he's going to have to hit the target. Uh, cut there by Riley. Now it's been Riley's job to shadow Collins this afternoon. And there's absolutely no doubt there that uh, he cut the Celtic midfielder late. So this is uh, next day. Towards Van Hoydonk. An overhead kick from him, but uh, never a threat to the Kilmarnock goal. Well, didn't get enough on the header to get into the box, but at least had the vision and awareness that the ball was still around him. Tried something a little bit spectacular and didn't quite come off. This is Connor. Black. There he goes, McKee. Well, stumble by him, and it's given away, and it's Boyd charging forward, showing great pace, getting away from Black. Anderson goes to meet him, doesn't do anything about it. This is Faulkner laying it off. Collins with a shot. And well handled by Lukovic. Well, it all began way out on the left with a mistake by McKee. That allowed Boyd to charge forward. No one uh, got in there to challenge him, and uh, the ball eventually played across to Collins for the shot. The first real bit of urgency in the game, Tom Boyd really striding forward with a bit of urgency, eventually coming with a shot from Collins, and that's what the game needs a little bit more of. Comes Celtic again. It's McLaughlin. Next day. Lining up for the shot. So that draws some applause from the Celtic fans. Quite rightly so. Good shot by Paul Musty. Come on, a goal for you. are doing really, really well there. Celtic on the ascendancy in the last five or ten minutes. This is McPherson for Kilmarnock. That looked like handball by McNally, but uh, the referee was well up with the play and uh, had a good view of the proceedings. He waves play on. Kilmarnock have it again. And uh, Bonner takes that one quite comfortably. So Brown with the diving header. It's McKee who played it in. again McKee floats it in this is Brown chesting it down final shot wide of target great play by Kamana Tom Brown leading the line on his own chest it down superbly John Henry not connecting with this one at all but again Kamana at least coming into the game looking as though they want to score at the end of the first half here Well, 
was out for the throw-in to Kilmarnock type against the corner flag. And the referee checks his watch. And the players in no great hurry to get on with things. flag against Collins but uh, the halftime whistle sounds as Collins broke forward so uh, he's unhappy with that but quite frankly it was a disgraceful first half little entertainment little skill and uh, both teams have a lot to do to uh, just build up this crowd for the second half at Hampden Park it's Celtic nil, Kilmarnock nil. So here we go for the second half of this Bells Premier Division match. No changes in either lineup. And Celtic now have Andy Walker and Chris Hay on the bench. Come on, with Craig Napier and Steve Masquerade. So uh, let's hope that uh, the manager's instructions at halftime have been positive. Uh, both sets of players have a lot to do here to fire up this crowd and uh, give them some value for money after a quite awful first half. But Celtic with the early free kick, Faulkner gets a touch. And that come off the head of Connor, the Kilmarnock captain. So uh, McKee and uh, Mitchell have uh, swapped sides at the moment. Uh, Mitchell coming across to this near side, just below the main stand. On the left side, McKee, who operated in that area in the first half, and has gone over to the far area. Played through there by Boyd and Hoydonk. This is McLaughlin. Good interception by Black. McStay moving in for Celtic. Good skills by McStay. Delivering a good cross. And happy to accept the corner kick. So that gets the Celtic fans going at last. And that's a signal for both McNally and Slaven to move into the Kilmarnock penalty area. It's McLaughlin who strikes it. Van Hoydonk and that one tongue behind for another corner kick. A good play by the Dutchman. Faulkner got uh, the touch there. And, uh, it was Henry who pushed it behind from the near post. Still the pressure on the defence. The goalkeeper commits himself and it's a good catch by Lugovic. Uh, making his seventh consecutive appearance today since joining Kelly. Just a one shot out so far, but uh, he's done well. by McLaughlin it's Anderson getting a touch for Kilmarnock Mitchell still operating in this near side digs in well it's in that towards Brown just sit down Boyd did just enough to take the sting out of that it's cleared by Slavin here come Kilmarnock again up Good play and the ball drifting beyond the far post. Good play by Colm McKee here. Went as always it was going to strike. Matt Manali went for it, tried to curl her. But lucky just get this didn't get enough round the ball to bring it in. Can we have it again? Manali's under pressure and he has to concede the corner kick. He actually did well, Mark Manali there, he was right under pressure. Colin McKee had momentum, almost to go past him. And did the right thing, trying to get out for a corner, and Celtic can regroup. So again, this command done so often in this match, uh, playing it short. The corner kick 
This is McPherson. First touch letting him down now, and McStay bounced. Plays it through now into an area for O'Donnell to attack the ball. Good play by McStay. O'Donnell hits early cross. It's Faulkner who's in there now. That's a tremendous strike by Willie Faulkner. Celtic make the breakthrough after 52 minutes. An unstoppable shot into the roof of the net. It's Celtic 1, Kilmarnock 0. Well, it was a good ball played through initially by Paul McStay to O'Donnell. He hit the early cross. It was headed away by Skilling. And it was Faulkner who showed persistence and drove an unstoppable shot into the roof of the net. Yeah, great goal by Willie Faulkner there. He actually got a little bit of break of the ball. I almost thought it handball against him. He just ran on into the box and no way the goalkeeper was going to stop that one. But it came from a commander corner. They lose the ball, a good counter by Celtic. And they take the lead and the last is a little bit of excitement in the game. It away and as far as McStay this is Collins his first touch lets him down and uh, he's challenged it by Matt Riley through now for Brown Neil Brown trying to get some curl on that effort but uh, the ball goes behind for the goal kick but uh, John Collins caught there and uh, it's Matt Riley who forced a play through to Brown Celtic can have the throw. plays that one through for Celtic. And Hoydonk plays it through, the chance on here for Celtic, good save by the keeper. Well, O'Donnell coming so close for Celtic, but Lekovic denied him. Well, O'Donnell did really well, it's a super ball through from Van Hoydonk. Phil did almost everything right, but the goalie stopped. Commander still in the game. So Celtic continue to lead Commander by one goal to nil. This is Ali Mitchell, who has worked extremely hard for Kelly this afternoon. Getting in the cross, little touch on by Brown. Certainly one thing you can be assured of of Ali Mitchell, whatever game he plays, he gives you 110%. He does superb there. Unfortunately, not a good enough header to bother. Here Can't comes Celtic it. now. It's McLaughlin trying the shot. And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. again getting players forward this time Henry's in the middle it's all left it it's Connor who chips it in now and that one dipping just over the top so Colin McKee coming in on the far side and that was a real chance for Kilmarnock Robert Connor switching the ball and uh, McKee with the dipping header. This is Mitchell delivering the cross. Well, Bonner and the defender, Slavin, both going for that one, and uh, it's a bit fortunate to get it away. Connor. 
looking for Brown, but uh, swept away by Slavin. Skilling gets them all away from his own penalty area. Good persistent play by Henry. And one here for McKee, and that must be a penalty. The feet taken away from him by McNally, and absolutely no doubt about that one. The player showing good control, and McNally comes across, takes the feet right away from him. The referee had no hesitation in pointing towards the spot. So a chance now for Kamanak to grab the equaliser. Returns to his line. It will be Tom Black. He missed a penalty last time out. But, uh, he does have a very good record from the spot. It's Black against Bonner. Kalmanak are in level terms. That's a superbly struck penalty kick. 73 minutes gone. It's Celtic 1, Kalmanak 1. Well, first of all, full marks for Tom to stick it away so emphatically it's a great penalty after missing the last time the two clubs played at Rugby Park but Colin McKee did so well by getting the penalty in the first half by selling Mark McNally the dummy and Celtic have it all to do again come on up dragging themselves back into the game back in level terms so like Totten just below us quite delighted by that and uh, urging his players to get forward Boyd, Chris Hay just keeping that one in play, and uh, Tom Black slides in to concede the throw-in. Second again, lifting in pace, and long overdue. So they're trying to get forward now, it's uh, Van Hoydonk, trying to send that one through to Chris Hay, almost a very good ball, but uh, Kermanek standing firm. Taking his time about this, so he's becoming impatient. To Slavin, and well held from John Collins by Likovic. Well, the first real strike John Collins has had in all the game. Never really troubled the goalkeeper that much. Break of that one off Black. And that's a corner kick to Celtic. Anderson having to concede it. A lot of movement inside the penalty area. The keeper commits himself, punches it clear, not very convincingly though. That was uh, Mitchell who got it away. Return by Gray. And Hydunk's on side. So too is Chris Hay. Gets in a good cross! That ball just inches past. Matt McNally, who conceded the penalty, coming so close to putting Celtic ahead. Well, the goalkeeper got uh, the ball away, none too convincingly. It was uh, not cleared by Mitchell. And this was certainly a very good cross by Chris Hay, the diving header from McNally, and it was so close. Sends it through. This is Henry. McKee. This makes Gray back defending again. I think Celtic would rather see him in a more positive role. And it's Kelly who have it now. It's Black sweeping in the cross. And Bonner had to take that one cleanly. It's a great ball in from Tom back to near post. But that's the problem when you play with one striker up front. Two strikers normally. One makes the front post run. One makes the near post run. In that case, you're just hoping somebody's on the end of it. Well, a complete miscue there. The chance on for Celtic now. And that's a fine save. And Hoydonk running on there after the mistake by Anderson. 
Uh, Ligovic pushed the ball behind for the corner. It was well struck by the Dutchman. Complete miscue there by Derek Anderson. And Hoydonk going through a powerful shot and a very good save. This is McPherson. on there by Faulkner, another chance on now for the Dutchman and that's delightfully knocked across goal but it just drifts away it looked as though he'd managed to pick a spot at the far post Van Hoydonk coming so close to his second goal for Celtic nice little touch on by Faulkner he just knocked that one over the goalkeeper but it drifted beyond the far post yeah big man unlucky I thought he was going to have another early strike like he did two minutes before let the ball run on a beautiful little touch of the goalkeeper and agonisingly passing the far side for him. McPherson playing it through. Picked up by Brown. Henry's calling for it. So too is McKee. And Bonner manages to get his hands to that one. Well, Brown having a pot at goal. McKee was certainly breaking in the far side of the penalty area, but uh, he decided to go it alone. So it's a corner kick now to Kilmarnock. And it's Brown who gets his head to the ball. And it's another corner to Kilmarnock. Boyd this time knocking it behind. Celtic looking just a bit nervous in defence. I don't know whether Tommy got a shot or not, but he certainly did the right thing. The ball certainly safer bound behind there than in the, in the net. It's away by Faulkner. They don't know to Riley. This is Mitchell. And the offside flag goes up. And Anderson was well forward to try the header at goal, but uh, the flag went up immediately. by Henry substitute gets involved immediately so just under three minutes left as Collins picked up the play for Celtic this is Hay but he hit that one just too far in front <laughs> that's the second time since he come on that uh, he's got the break of the ball off uh, Tom Black like that still Celtic have it through Collins and they get through with the left foot he claims for a penalty and it's given. And Hoydonk fell to the ground there as he was challenged. And the referee immediately pointed to the spot for so the second penalty of the game. Mark Skilling is the man who's been penalised. And neither he nor his teammates very happy about the decision. But uh, Mr Crombie standing his ground. A chance for Celtic to pick up the points. Mark Skilling there, extremely unhappy. And he's now being called over by the referee. So the fourth Kilmarnock player to be booked this afternoon. So this is an important penalty for Celtic after so many drawn matches. to take it starts his run and he makes a perfect job of it 89 minutes gone here at Hamden Park and Celtic take the lead Celtic 2, Kilmarnock 1 and John Collins picks up his ninth goal of the season well I have to feel a little bit for Kilmarnock there I really did think that Van Hoydonk made the most of it. Bill Crombie given set at the penalty, but even with the weight that John Collins had, his execution was perfect. So in the final second sticking away, and well into the final minute of the match, Alec Tutton with a lot in his mind there. The man fighting hard to avoid the relegation zone. And it's certainly a cruel blow for them.
Butler plays it. Out for the throw-in. And there goes the final whistle. Well, and Hoydong offering a handshake there, and uh, it was rejected. Kilmarnock uh, not amused by the penalty award. So the match ending amid some controversy, but it's three points for Celtic. The final score here at Hampden Park, Celtic 2, Kilmarnock 1.